as a scrum master, how can you help your team to write better user story or good user story? Now, this is a question which you need to understand as a scrum master to the depth of to, to your fingertip. It's something you need to master, right? Because although you, the scrum master, might not be the one writing user story, you need to be able to guide the team when they are not doing the right thing. And today we're going to look at three different components of the good user stories and why they are very important. So what are the component of the user story or what should constitute a user story? Now, the three components of the user story, the first part of the user story is the who. Who is using the product? I would normally refer to the who as the user, right? Because let's say that if I'm teaching Scrum, uh, which I am, uh, you definitely want to check our next class, on the detail below, and you are the learner, which means you are learning Scrum, then our needs are going to be different. The goal is we are all in Scrum, right? But then based on the user, based on the person, it's different. So three components of user story, the who. The second part of the user story is what we call the what. What, the activity. As a Scrum student, what do you want? That's the second part. I'm going to go to the part on the left letter. Uh, and the second part is called the activity. And the third part is why? Why do you want it? So if you're in an interview, you ask, what are the different components of a user story? Or how do you write an effective user story? Three things ensure that it contains the who, the what, and the why. Right. Alternatively, you can say that a good user story must have the user, the activity, and the business value. It must have the user, the activity, and the business value. Or you can say that a good a user story must have the who, the what, and the why. So let's look to the right now and see an example of a good user story. As a certified Scrum Master, I want to practice how to facilitate Scrum event in a real world so that I can face a job interview and not panic. Perfect example, good user story. Why do you need that? Right, You, if you say, oh, as a certified Scrum Master, I want to practice uh, a, a Scrum, I want to practice Scrum without giving the value, then it doesn't make so much sense. Now, when you write a good user story, or what also make a good user story, there is an evaluation that can help you to talk more in detail if this actually contain all the different parts or not. There's an evaluation that can help you to evaluate if it's a good user story or not. What is this evaluation? How do you evaluate if a story is good or not? We use a criteria called the inverse criteria. The inverse criteria, which is inverse as in your investment, right? The I the N, the V, the E, the S, and the T. So what is the inverse criteria all about? Now we need to make sure that the I part of it is independent. Can we evaluate the story without bringing in other aspects? If I read this, can I evaluate it independently without needing extra information? Yes, I can do that. Then it meet, it pass the first evaluation. Now the second evaluation, which is negotiable. Can we negotiate on this story? Can we negotiate on what you want to learn? Can we negotiate on what you want to practice? Can we negotiate on this time for you to practice? Yes, we can negotiate on all of that. Now the third aspect, which is valuable. Does it add any value? Is there a need for you to actually practice Chrome in reality so that you can face your interview? Yes, so much. This is one of the biggest problems why a lot of people, although they're certified, they cannot go through the interview. If you're one of those, you want to check and join our community of practice where we actually give you the reality. It's more like you are doing internship. And by the time you face your interview, you face it with so, so much confident that is what create result right so valuable now can we estimate the time can we estimate the story yes we can estimate and we can tell you how much time you can use to practice all of this in average within 30 to 45 days 
you have completed at least a sprint is two weeks at least two sprints and going to the test sprint that help you to understand the report that help you to understand how to read the chart that gives you enough time to ask all the questions so we can evaluate and see the time which you need we can estimate the time which you, you need all right the invest criteria it's a very powerful tool This is a very powerful tool for you to evaluate if a story is a good one. As it said, S stands for, we should be able to size the story. We can estimate it. Is it a small story, big story? If we're using the Fibonacci sequence, then we can think about, okay, uh, is it a two-pointer, three-pointer? Next week, I'm going to give a full training on Jira. And I'm going to give the lesson by lesson, how to create your own Jira bot. So look up for that next week. This week, my goal is to give you some really, really typical aspects, simple, straightforward, that will help you move ahead. Now, the last part is that what? Testable. Can we test it and see if not time? Sorry. This is sizable. We need to be able to size it. And the last one is that it need to be testable. All right. Can we actually test to see if what you have done is right? Can we actually Test to see that after this number of days, you now understand Scrum in practice. Yes, we can do that. If we can do that, then we know how to write a good user story. We know how to help the team complete the user story. Okay, so if that was helpful for you, click the like button, click the share button. And for those who want to be certified Scrum Masters, we have our training coming up Friday. Join the team. Simply send me a text. And I'll be able to send you more information. If not, just check on the description, click the link to our website, our community, and you'll be able to see the detail of our schedule. I'll see you at the top and have a happy new week.